All right, welcome to Total Body Conditioning with Ellen. It is Thursday evening, it's a beautiful day, and we are gonna get our workout on. I have a fun jam pads workout for you all. Let's start with our warm up. So we'll bring our feet about hip distance. We're gonna bend those knees, take a nice deep breath in, and then exhale it out. So we're gonna do this just a couple of times. Inhale and exhale. Hope you all are having a good day so far. A good week. Let's do this two more times. Nice inhale, keep it up. And exhale, I'm just gonna adjust my screen a bit. One more time. Inhale, take it up. And exhale down. All right, let's start to roll those shoulders. So um, for our workout today, if you have weights, you want one heavy weight and then a set of lighter weights. And if you don't have any weight, then your body weight is gonna be just perfect. So one more big shoulder roll here. Up and back, and let's just shake out those arms, crisscrossing them in front. And then we're gonna hit some squats. All right, so we're gonna do squats for 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and start. You're gonna come down and up. So nice and easy here with those squats. Down and lift. Down and up with those squats. 30 seconds, keep it up everybody. I have a fun workout for you all. We're actually doing a no repeat workout, which means you get a bunch of different exercises and we really aren't gonna repeat any of them, except for ones that we do on one side and then we switch and we'll do the other side. All right, we're gonna squat for four, three, two, and one, excellent. Let's bring those feet together. Make sure you have some room behind you. We're gonna step back into a lunge and reach your arms up. We'll start with that left leg. So big lunge, keep that core nice and tight. Inhale up and then exhale, step together. Let's do the right side, step it back. So for 30 seconds, inhale, step back and lift and then come back to the center. So you're just gonna alternate these lunges. You can add a slight back bend here if that feels comfortable for you. I'm just gonna demonstrate from the side. So you wanna stitch that rib cage together, adding that little arch there. Any kind of balance movement is really great to warm up our core and the rest of our body. So you're gonna do this for about 10 more seconds. How is Foho Fitness on? I'm Foho Fitness. What is going on? Eric, what are you doing over there? One more on each side. Last one. All right, so now that we warm up our back and core a little bit, we're gonna do an interim walkout. 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and start. You all know the interim walkout. You bend those knees, hands come to the floor, you walk out to a nice strong plank. Hold it for a second or two. Drive your hips back up and come back to the top. All right, keep it moving. So 30 seconds, inchworm walkout. Hello, hello. I was like, oh, it's Serena. <laughs> I was like, I'm Foho Fitness. Why is there another Foho Fitness? Oh my goodness, the radio cracked me up. All right, welcome Mike and Sharon for doing interim walkouts. And welcome Sarita. Let's do one more walkout. So we have time for one more walkout. Keep that core nice and strong. Come back up to the top when you are finished. All right, let's come back to the center. We're gonna shake those legs out. All right, bring your feet nice and wide, full body roll, starting with those shoulders. So big inhale, bring them down. You're gonna bend those knees, falling forward. Exhale, we're gonna roll it up. And let's do that again. Inhale, lower down. And exhale, roll it up. One more time, we're gonna stay nice and low. So let's hang out here, maybe bring those feet a little wider. So again, we're doing a no repeat workout. So we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff this evening. Ideally, one heavy dumbbell and then a set of lighter ones. So let's drop that right shoulder in, and your body weight will work just fine. Inhale up, exhale, drop that other shoulder. But if you have some sort of weight, go ahead and grab it. And then let's come back to the center and roll on up. All right, we're going to open those hips just a little bit more. Draw a couple circles for me with your knees, and then shake it out. All right, here's what we're doing. No repeat workout which means we're doing like 30 different exercises. 
some are going to be right side and then left side, so they will technically be repeated, but we're doing a lot today. Here's our first one, and we're just going to go one by one so we don't waste any time. You want one heavy dumbbell or some sort of heavy weight and body weight also works. So here's our first one. It's a squat clean and press. This is 15 pounds just for reference. All right. So I'm going to take it down for the squat, clean, and then press. So it's sort of like a curl to a press. Squat, take it up, and press. That's why I want it to be heavy, so it's more of like a power movement, okay? So our first circuit is 10 exercises, 45 seconds. Let's go ahead and start. Grab a heavy weight in three, two, let's go. Squat, clean, and press. So his feet are a little wider than hip distance. You're going to curl it up and add that overhead press. I'm just going to repeat this movement. I'm going to show you sort of from a different angle here from the side. Now you could use two lighter weights for this, right? I just have my one heavy, holding it at the ends. Keep moving. Our next set of three exercises, we'll start everything on our left side, and then we'll repeat and do the right. You have less than 10 seconds for this one. This is the only time we do this one. So come on, let's push it out. No repeat workout, come on. We'll get about 15 seconds in between three, two, one. All right, so we're starting on the left side. Is it always starting the right? So we're switching it up. Dumbbell is a swing, curl into a press. So a similar movement. Watch the swing from the side. Hips go back, it's like a kettlebell swing. Okay, we're doing the left side first. Take that weight in your left hand, 45 seconds in three, two, let's go. Hips towards me, curl, press. Stand on our left side, left arm. Feet are nice and wide. So you can start with that heavier weight and then always drop it down. You can start with a lighter weight and always add and make it heavier if you'd like. Keep moving. This swing comes from your hips, okay? So you push and you thrust forward. Your knees bend a little bit, 15 seconds. So it's not a squat, it's an actual swing and thrusting motion with those hips. Keep going, got five seconds left. Then we're moving on to the next movement. Three, two, and one. Okay, so next movement is going to be a lunge into a knee drive. We start with that left side again, holding that weight. We lower it down, bring our knee up. We come back to pick it up. And then repeat, lower to the floor, drive that knee. So we're gonna really fill those glutes on fire. Heavy weight, 45 seconds. Left leg, three, two, let's go. Lower your weight, stand up, bring your knee to your chest. Come back down, pick up that weight. Stand up. Lower down, repeat. Pick it up, bring it back down, and then drive that knee up. Keep moving. So again, heavy weight. We're not doing any upper body with this. And I want you to drop your hips. So maybe you just come halfway, pretend to pick up that weight. That also works. Watch those knees. Other arm is out to the side or on your hip. Ooh, keep it up. Couple more seconds. Get nice and low. You've got four, three, two, and one. Last exercise, then we'll go to the other side. Single arm row, left side. We do a row, we're gonna pass it. Right, left, row, watch again. Pass, pass, row. If you want this harder, Keep that left leg up, sort of like a deadlift. All right, 45 seconds, single arm row, left side. Start with the row in three, two, one. Start with your row. Pass to the right, pass back over, row again. Just repeat this movement. So you want to keep your hips square. You'll be working your core a little bit here. You want this harder, extend that left leg up. So really feeling whew, those glutes, especially on that standing leg. 
We gotta keep our core nice and tight here so we don't fall over, right? That's the trickiest part. I want you to imagine you're wearing a tight belt Ooh, around your pants. Keep it up around that waist and row. Keep moving. You're gonna get a chance to do these one more time. This on the other side. You've got three, two, one. Okay, so we started with that swing, curl and press. Right side. We started with the left. Here's your movement. Swing, curl, press. Right side for 45 seconds. In three, two, let's go. Swing, curl, and press. So try the heavy weight, okay? This is the last time we're doing this one, okay? So a couple exercises do get repeated, but it is gonna be the other side. Come on, from the side. Remember, hips go back. Your knees bend a little bit. You thrust your hips forward, so it's not a squat. Keep moving. Keep moving, got a couple more seconds here. It's a swing, imagine you have a kettlebell. Swing, curl, press. Here's our five seconds. Then we go into our next one, which will be that lunge. Three, two, one. Here's our lunge. It's now with that right leg back. 45 seconds, ready, step. Hold your weight, let's go. Lower all the way down, leave on the floor. When you come up, drive your knee to your chest. Pick it back up. Lift, lower, knee drive. Hips lower, chest stays up. Come on. Other arm is just out to the side. Woo. Fill in those glutes or maybe hand on your hip. Keep moving. So a lot of strength here, feeling those glutes. I challenge you to use a heavy weight. Listen to your body. Maybe you're just going halfway tonight. Right? Couple more seconds. Can you drop your hips? Not the chest. Let me go into a single arm row. We've got three, two, one. Woo. Single arm row, right side. We pass it back and forth in three, two. Start with your row first, right arm. Row, pass, left. Right, row. If you want this harder, keep that right leg extended. So sort of like a deadlift. Woo! Keep that back leg straight. And try not to fall over like I just did. <laughs> so really using your core for this part, right? It's a lot of balance. You're bent over slightly. You can keep that right leg just on the floor. But if you want it harder, extend it off the floor and lift. Keep that core engaged the whole time. Pull your elbows straight back. Remember, we're not rotating with that shoulder. We're pulling back and keeping your shoulders and hips forward. Come on, you've got four seconds left. Three, two, well, that one's hard, and one. Okay, next exercise, we are going to do a bear pose. So here's where you can grab those lighter weights, okay? Bear pose, and we're starting with our left arm. So here's your bear pose or tabletop. One light dumbbell. You're gonna bring it up. Okay, it comes back. Pull it back to start. And just repeat, it goes up. Okay, it comes back. And slide it back. If you want this a little harder, you can do it in any plank position. Dumbbell up, bring it back. Up. Bring it back, 45 seconds. Start in your tabletop with me and then get into your plank for the extra challenge. Three, two, and let's go. So left arm, you take the dumbbell a couple inches in front and then you pull it back and just repeat. It's going up and back. Your hips do not move. Up and pull back. So working our shoulders, Working those arms, if you want this harder, do this in a plank position. Keep your head nice and straight here, shoulders away from those ears. You got about 15 seconds. If you want harder, come up to that plank. So we're just, almost like we're sliding the dumbbell up and then we're pulling it back to that starting position. 
You have five seconds left. And then we go into a new exercise. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Next exercise, we're going to go ahead and stand up. You can do your light or your heavy. Feet start together, overhead press. Our foot steps out. We lower into a narrow squat. So we come into the overhead press, big step out, lower into our narrow squat. 45 seconds, we'll only do it once. So I'm gonna grab the head and weight. Ready, set, let's go. Step out, overhead press, feet come together into a narrow squat. Step up and out, lower. Step up and out, lower. Try the heavy weight. This one, there's no right or left. So we're not gonna do it again. No repeat workout for the most part. Come on, out and lower. After this, keep moving. We go back to that bear pose, but we do the right side. The right arm instead of the left. Can you get a little lower on that squat? Keep it up, let me see it this time. Couple more seconds. Awesome, you've got four. Nice, three, two, and one. All right, come on down to that bear pose. It's your right arm moving that weight. And you're just moving it up and back. That's all we're doing, tabletop. Here we go, or plank, three, two, let's go. So I'm in tabletop. I slide it up and then I slide it back. And just repeat that movement. If you want to be really extra challenging, you can do this in a bear pose. This is going to be a little harder than your plank. We you just keep those knees whoo, off the floor. So just an option. If you want to work that core a little extra, keep moving. Keep moving, everyone. This will be the end of our circuit. You're only going to get about 45 seconds to take a break. We're going to move on to the second one. You have seven seconds left. Keep that back nice and flat. Head up. Do not let your back collapse here. Come on, we've got it. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, so grab a quick sip of water. Our second circuit, we've got 10 new exercises. We're gonna go to 40 seconds instead of 45, okay? So quick sip of water, and I'm gonna show you our first one. It's going to be in a squat with a front kick, but a weighted squat. All right, here we go. Left side. So you want that heavy weight on your left side. Watch me first. Eyes up. We go squat, kick. So your kick is going to be with the opposite leg. So with this weight here, these obliques have to work hard to keep you steady. So we're going to fire up that right side. So come with me, heavy weight, left hand, squat and front kick for 40 seconds. We start in three, two, let's go. So nice and low, front kick. I wanna see the bottom of your shoe. And your squat, your feet are just under those hips. So it's not too narrow, not too wide. Whew. That weight was sort of pulling me over. So again, firing up your obliques. So you don't rock to the side. Come on. Hips down, chest up. Keep going. Keep it up, keep it up. We're gonna do a new movement before we go to the other side. You got five seconds. So a little cardio coming up. Three, two, one. Okay, so here's our next one. It's a burpee. You can choose to add the jump or not. We come down, step out, holding that heavy weight, and just stand back up with it. One more time. I am not gonna jump. You are more than welcome to jump. 40 seconds, three, two, let's go. Lower. Weight comes down. My weight is large enough. I can keep my hands on that dumbbell. Stand back up. Low impact, watch. I'm just gonna step one foot back and then stand up. 40 seconds, come on. So I'm in the low impact. I just step the leg back, each one, and stand back up. Remember, you can add that jump if you want to. 
Just make sure you plant your hands on the floor. So it's nice and steady. Come on, couple more seconds. Three, two, one. Back to our squat and kick. Now doing the right side. 40 seconds. So heavy weight on your right side. Ready, set. And let's go. Down, kick, down. So now you're kicking with your left leg. Or whatever side you did last time, right? Down. So I'm just gonna show you from the side. Keep moving. Nice and low. Keep that chest up. Down. Kick. Down. Kick. Come on, keep it going about 10 seconds. Good, Sharon. Yep. Chest stays up, hips stay low. Moving, moving. Perfect. You've got three, two, one. Grab. Two of your moderate weights, I'm gonna drop down. Bicep curl, so whatever weight is challenging for a bicep curl. Lunge, left leg, lunge, curl. Left leg first. In three, two, let's go, reverse lunge. Left leg, stand up and bicep curl. Left leg, stand up and curl. So if you want a little extra challenge, sort of like we did earlier, you can bring, ooh, it's a lot harder. You can bring your knee up to your chest and add a little balance, keep moving. Once you get as low as you can in your lunge, keep moving. Elbows in, nice, perfect. Yeah, a little extra balance, good. So when you start to wobble, totally normal. Turn on those core muscles. Pull yourself back up to nice and tall. Three, two, and one. All right, push up with a row, and we're gonna start with that left side. So I'm gonna do a kneeling push up. You're gonna have one of those heavy weights close by. Here's the movement it's a push up, and then it's a row. Left side first, push up, and a row. All right, here we go 45 seconds, kneeling, wall, bench, whatever works for you, and start. Push up. Your hands are a little wider than shoulder distance. And you pick up a heavy weight for a left arm row. Just the left side. So you're gonna feel those obliques working. I'm doing kneeling. I'm just gonna fold my mat. Get as low as you can in that push up. You're already more than halfway there. Come on. Inhale lower, exhale up. And then add that row. So I'm keeping my dumbbell close in on the inside of my hands. So that I'm ready for that nice close grip rip. You've got three, two, one, stand up. Back to our lunging curl. Now with our right leg back. 40 seconds. We start in three, grab those moderate or heavy weights, two, and go, right leg. Step back, curl. Step back, curl. Maybe adding that balance. Remember to breathe. Inhale, you prep. Exhale, you are executing that movement, right? So inhale down, exhale up and curl. Keep moving. Nice and slow. Keep it up, everybody. And then we go to our push up and row on the other side. All right, you have seven seconds. So we've got about three more in this circuit. Three, two, one, push up and row with that right arm. Here we go, so see how I place this right inside and my hands on the outside of that dumbbell. Here we go, in three, two, go. Push up and row. Right arm, row, push up, and row. So you can just stick to push-ups, right? Maybe on your bench, maybe against the wall. Keep moving, everyone. I'm just gonna show a couple different options. You can do your push-ups against the wall, take out that row. So this is a lot less impact on your neck and your shoulders and your wrists. Keep moving, 
Make sure your elbows go straight back in that push up, right? Not out to the side. And maybe you're just doing your rows. Perfect. Yep. Remember, hands are wider than your shoulders. We're not doing the tricep push ups. You've got three, two, one, stay on the floor. Last two, elevated bridge. But our arms are gonna do something different each time. First round is skull crushers. Moderate weight, smaller muscles. Here's your elevated bridge. These are your skull crushers. You bend up the elbows. Working those triceps. But as you're doing it, kick your right leg out. Right leg, just the right side. I'm sorry, left. We've been starting with the left. So kick out your left leg. 40 seconds, elevated bridge. Ready, set, come on up. Elevate a bridge. As those arms lower, kick your left leg straight out. Kick your left leg straight out. Just the left. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale. Imagine you're hammering up to the ceiling. And when you kick out, you keep your leg low and just extend and straighten that leg. So you're gonna feel your right glute, your right hamstring bearing a lot of that weight. We'll switch sides in just a few. Moderate or heavy weights. We'll only do this once, so keep that in mind. Try for heavy. Couple more seconds. You've got four, three, two, and one. Lower those hips. We now extend with the other leg. Now we're gonna do a chest press. So heavy weights if you don't have them already. Here we go, lift up into the elevated bridge. Chest press, let's go. As you press, kick out your right leg. Press and kick. Keep those hips lifted. Press and kick. Heavy weights. You're bending up those elbows and you're pressing up. Making golf posts or goal post arms. I've been watching golf, that's why I said it. The master started today. Jim's really into golf, so I decided now too. Goal post is what I meant. <laughs> Elbows lower, they touch the floor, they press up as you kick their right leg out. Keep those hips lifted. Couple more seconds, you've got four. Hips a little higher. Three, two, and one. <laughs> All right, last one. Okay, keep those weights. We've got a combo. Three dumbbell skiers, which are like the swings that we did into three push presses. So I'm gonna keep my lighter weights for this. 40 seconds, in three, two, let's go. Feet are hip distance. You go one, two, like you're skiing, three, go right into a squat press, one, two, power press, three, and just repeat. I'm gonna show you from the side. Lift those hips, thrust, power press, go. Three, three, come on. So this should get the heart rate up. Your arms stay straight, like you're skiing. Drop your hips back. Press, come on. Keep it up. Squeeze your glutes. It's almost like that bridge. Power press. Three and three, come on. Get a little lower, we got a couple more seconds to go. You've got four, three, two, and one. All right, grab a quick sip of water. 45 seconds, how's everyone doing? We good so far? Cool. Okay, we're gonna move on. Circuit three is now 30 seconds. 10 exercises. These are gonna be a little more power, cardio related. First one, grab a heavy weight. Squat to a rotational press. And we're gonna go that left side first. So here we are, squat, press. Notice the pivot. I pivot this foot right here. So you gotta really watch your knees as you press out, because you're rotating. All right, 30 seconds, here we go. Heavy weight, three, two, one. Squat, press to the left, press. So sort of a punch, down, punch. You're pivoting your hips, your feet, your knees. 
So it's only 30 seconds. I want you to keep up that intensity. And just keep in mind that it's shorter, right? Keep going, go four seconds. We go right into mountain climbers. Nothing crazy with those. Three, two, one. Mountain climbers, 30 seconds. Slower, fast, you choose. Starting in three, two, let's go. Mountain climbers. If you want a little more core, go slow. And focus on really bringing that knee to your chest. If you want a little more cardio this evening, pick up your speed. Keep it up, keep it up. We don't do this one again, so go, go, go. You can also do them against the wall. Come on, come on, about four seconds. And we're gonna squat and rotate. Right side, three, two, one, stand up. Grab that weight. You should feel out of breath like I'm feeling, okay? Here we go, heavy weight, squat and rotate. Ready, set, to the right, down, press. So if you don't have a weight, you can add a little hop here. You can also increase your speed. So you can go here, boom, boom, right? So I'm just punching. Don't need weight, but I wanna keep that heart rate up. Find something that's a little challenging for you tonight. Maybe that means going a little faster. Maybe that means grabbing a heavier weight. Come on, three, watch your knees, two, one. Next one, this is body weight. You could use weights if you wanted. Bob and weave squat, boom, boom. Bob and weave, punch, punch. So you could grab some weights. I'm just gonna do body weight. 30 seconds, get nice and low, ready, set, go. Nice and low, Bob and weave, two punches. Bob and weave, two punches. Bob and weave, two punches. Boom, boom. Straight punches. Doesn't matter which one goes first, because you're doing two. One on each side. I want you to get a little lower there. Bob and me, come on. Boom. Pick up your speed, especially if you aren't using weights. Come on. We can go a little faster. Push. Push it out, push it out. A couple more. You got it. Four. Three. Strength coming up. Two. Take it on down. All right. So here's rainbows. Not rainbow planks, but with our legs, we're gonna work those glutes. You're on your hands or your forearms. Starting with that left leg, okay? You're gonna take it up and over. Oh, I'm hitting my uh, water bottle. But up and over with that left leg, creating a rainbow shape. Lower your forearms, take that tension out of your neck and shoulders. Here we go, in three, left leg, two, and Go. So from here, we will actually go right into the other side. So big rainbow shape without moving your hips. Take it up and over. Tap the toes. As soon as your toes reach the floor, imagine it's like a boiling pot of water. So you tap just for a second, bring it back up and over. Keep the core nice and tight. Squeeze the glutes, keep your leg as straight as you can. As straight as you can for four. Feel that glute, three, two, let's go right into the other leg. Go, extend that right leg, up and over. Keep it as straight as you can. Come on, up and over. Get a little bit straighter, a little bit straighter. Come on, we're on our forearms, relax the neck. Just feel the glutes, hopefully a little shake is going on. Keep it up, you got about 10 more seconds. Can you get your leg a little straighter? Keep moving, keep moving. We have a cardio movement coming up. We've got three, two, one, come on up. So, cardio movement, one of your lighter dumbbells, you can even use a towel or no weight, okay? Skaters, but we go up and down. See how my arms are straight. Up and down, up and down. Straight arms, so really working those abs. Come with me, 30 seconds. We start in three, two, one. Up and down. So I'm being low impact, no jump here. Arms are straight. If you're worried about your back, 
no weight, right? You can use a towel. More intensity, more impact, add that jump. But keep your arms straight. Go, 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 keep your arms straight. It's gonna make a difference. Drop those hips, yes, Sarah. Get a little lower, good, Sharon. Come on, make the arms straight. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Okay, plank, abduction, meaning side leg. Run our hands or forearms, you choose. Right leg, tap, center, tap, center. That's all we're doing. You can also do this with your other knee on the floor. Join me. Left side, 30 seconds. Let's go. Find your plank, tap, center, just the left. Tap, center, a little less intensity. Other knee is on the floor. Tap, center. Similar to our rainbows, but your back does not move and we're just going out to the side, not going up and over. Keep your head up. Keep your legs straight. So work in the core. You should feel this in your abs a little more than your glutes. So you've got three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, stand up. Here we go. This is body weight. We'll get back to the other side. So you're here, you're gonna punch down and go into a lunge. Punch, center, punch. See how I turn completely to the side. It's low impact. And if you want it a little higher, just make a bigger jump. All right, we can add weights if you want to. Here we go, 30 seconds. We go side to side and alternate. Ready, set, go. Punch, up, punch. So this is fast, it's only 30 seconds. Go. Just make sure you are turning all the way. Side, center, side, not like skaters. You gotta go to the side, watch those knees. Yes, Sharon, you got it. Come on, Mindy. A little faster. Come on, punch. Come on. A couple more seconds. Push it out. We're getting close to the finish line. Three, two, one. Okay. Plank side taps. Right leg in three, two. Let's go. Right leg. Tap. Center. Inner and outer thighs. And a lot of core. And it's a very light tap. Okay, tap, keep it up. You're also gonna feel your obliques, that side body, keep your head up. Woo, we got this. We have one more exercise, our last minute burnout. Keep going, you got a couple more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, grab those weights. So I did this in class on maybe Tuesday or Monday. We're doing a woman maker, man maker, whatever you want to call it. It's curl press, jump or walk. You go row, row, push up. So you're doing every exercise in one, okay? Low impact, right? You step back, row, okay? One minute burner, here we go. Lift her without those weights. Three, two, let's go. I start curl and press. Curl and press, feet wide. I lower. Step or jump back. Single arm row. Single arm row. Push up. Repeat. Step or jump. Curl and press. You're about to begin. Low impact. I'm going to step back. I'm going to do two rows. And then repeat. Curl and press. Come on. One minute burner. And then 30 second cardio movement and then we're done. That's it. Come on. Get it all in. Finish strong. Finish strong. You can walk out into that plank. You can jump. Woo! Keep it up. Keep it up. We got less than 10 seconds. And then you're going to finish strong with weighted squat jumps. You've got three, two, weighted squat jumps, let's go. Go, weights can be down here, weights can be up here. You can do squat pulses, low impact. Let's go, let's go, come on. 
This is it. This is it. Keep your chest up. Feel that burn. Oh my goodness. Less than 10. Less than 10. Push, push, push. Come on, Mike. Know you're working. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Woo. Oh my goodness. High five. Boom. Awesome work, y'all. No repeat workout. Almost no repeat. We did our right and left side. Shake it out, grab some water. And we're gonna finish with a stretch. So feet wide. Shake those arms. Heart rate's still up. So take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then we'll take this side to side here. So just like with some of those movements, you're gonna pivot and move your hips with it too. So we're not hurting our knees. Move your hips. Nice and easy, right? Reach it across. Nice and slow. Good. One more each side. Excellent. Bend those knees, keep them wide. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down, let's do it one more time. Keep those arms up at the top. Reach across the body for that right wrist and bring it over to the left side. Keep your core nice and tight. Knees slightly bent. One more inch. Inhale, exhale, other side reach. This time to the right. Side body stretch. One more exhale. Pull it over one more inch. Inhale up. Exhale. Awesome. And notice your fingers pushing out and in front. So upper back stretch. Tuck your chin. Pull that belly button in. Opposite stretch for your shoulders and chest. Hands come behind. Maybe you interlace them. Pull your shoulder blades together this time. Take your chin up, head back. And then release. Let's lower down. So heart rate's a little bit lower. We'll come down to the floor and find a tabletop. I got two more minutes with you all. Tabletop as we inhale, you're gonna press that belly into the floor. Lift your head up. Exhale, draw that belly button up towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin in. And let's do it two more times, inhale. So sink a little deeper in your inhale. Exhale, lift up a little higher. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. Awesome, child's pose. Knees wide, feet together, sit on back. Mark your calendars tomorrow, 12 p.m., 12 noon. We have a DOE Connect Fit Friday. Go ho and fo ho. Come together for a workout with me and Alicia. It's 30 minutes, so you could always do that before Eric's Weekend Warrior. Let's slowly roll up. It's going to be cardio, core, and plyometrics. It's sort of a boot camp spring into fitness workout. Let's go ahead and slide our legs around. You're going to hug those knees into your chest and wrap side to side. Let's lower those knees to the left. Arms out, look over that right shoulder for a spinal twist. Be mindful of your back. Take one more breath. Inhale, slowly back to the center. Exhale, drop to the other side. Look over that left shoulder for a twist. Slowly back to the center. All right, let's extend those legs out. Arms overhead. We're gonna make ourselves a little bit longer here. Nice inhale and exhale. All right, let's roll over. Nice and slow. We're gonna find a downward facing dog to stretch out our calves and hamstrings and our back. So lift those hips way up. Press your chest towards your thighs and pedal out your heels. All right, knees onto the floor. Let's roll up to standing. Nice and slow, your head comes up last. We'll do a standing quad stretch. Just to challenge our balance a little bit or find a wall. Let's go ahead and grab that left foot first. Knees together, I'm gonna show you from the side. 
So nice and straight, we don't want that knee in front. Knees together, arm up, press your foot into your hand. And then release, take that same foot, heel down, sit back for a little extra calf stretch and then we'll do the other side, right leg. Knees together, press your foot into your hand, find your balance. Place that foot down, sit back, toes towards your nose, and then release, shake it out. All right, everyone, inhale, reach up, big deep breath here. Exhale, shake it out, one more time, inhale, and exhale, shake it out. Woo, all right, happy Friday Eve. You all are done. Awesome, awesome job.